Hey everyone, Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and welcome to the world of Android customization. In today's new video, lock screen tutorial. That's right, you've got a great looking Android home screen, but now we're going to pull it together with a great looking lock screen. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so today's lock screen setup is the one titled Plus Lock Screen by the author The Next. And he's done a great job with this one. It's very simple, it's very clean. You can read everything straight away. You've got all your notifications there, such as your unread messages, your emails, as well as your missed calls right there. You've got your time, your date, got your little user image right there, which looks pretty awesome. And let's not forget this little slider that we got at the bottom that when swiping across unlocks your phone just like that. So if you'd like to know how to set up that amazing looking lock screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. First up, you'll definitely be needing Widget Locker as that is the lock screen app that you saw before you. Next up will be UCCW, and that's because that's basically the widgets that were on top of the Widget Locker. And then finally, last but not least, a good file explorer such as ES File Explorer just to basically copy everything onto your phone, but that's just optional for you. So once you have that down, then we're going to jump right into the lock screen setup as there's pretty much no other setup necessary. Great, so if you have any shortcuts or widgets currently on your lock screen, if you've just started with your widget locker, all you want to do is to hold down on each one of them and drag them into the bin, or you can just hold down on each one of them and select remove, whichever is easier for you, it does not really matter. But you do want to end up with a completely blank lock screen. So once that's done, you want to look for that little settings button there in the top right hand side and you want to select that and that will now bring you up into your widget locker settings from here you definitely want to make sure that widget locker is on obviously otherwise it will not work and from here you want to jump into our look and feel next up you want to make sure that alternative wallpaper is enabled as this will enable you to select your current wallpaper from here you want to go into your gallery now if you're wondering where all the resources are i forgot to mention that earlier i apologize for that check in the link in the description below it comes with everything that you need for a nexus 4 as well as a galaxy s3 device so if you're not running either one of them i'm going to pretty much show you as i'm running a nexus 5 here that i could hide the soft keys then i chose the s3 version and then just pretty much just copy that onto my phone so now all you have to do is to resize it so it takes up pretty much the, the the width as well as the entire bottom just so you get that little dark shaded area and that's for your unlock button so once that's done just need to select ok and bam that is your wallpaper set up your background since you can pretty much choose it however you want it i like it at full brightness because i like eating up my battery next up we're going to jump into our layout as from here if you've got your anchor chilling in the middle you want to drag it all the way to the bottom and you want to disable automatically determine grid size as you're going to be putting in your own now i used a 12 by 11 but honestly i don't think it makes much of a difference as long as it's pretty large just because you can just resize it however you want your widgets to fit so i always recommend going for large size and it pretty much just works out anyway you want to save that right now and lastly you just want to make sure that hide notification bar is enabled that's at one at the top as pretty much you want to be having your own notifications not this one at the top so from here we're going to be scrolling down we want to go into our advanced settings as from here you want to make sure that widget overlap is enabled as we're going to be overlapping quite a few widgets and then from here you want to jump into your home helper because there's always people are complaining that when you push the menu button it just unlocks your phone which is not so good so you want to make sure that these three are enabled that's home helper component home helper block home and then finally block home in other apps so make sure that those are enabled and when you just push the menu button it'll just bring you up into your stock lock screen and that is our widget locker settings complete if we go back now let's just see how everything looks and everything should be all blank and ready for those uccw widgets great so we're pretty much almost there all we have to do now is to add in our uccw skins so we just need to hold down on the lock screen, select widgets right now and scroll all the way to our U where we can get UCCW and from here we can choose any size that we want, even a 2x2 as it does not matter at all because you're going to be resizing them anyway. Next up you want to select user in the top right hand side there and you want to look for those two folders or that folder that you copied onto your phone, there it is plus lock screen. And here is the two folders. So whichever your personal preference is, I just went for my S3 because for some reason these bars just went, just went away as you saw earlier. So that might just help out a bit. So from here, you're gonna just choose whichever one you wanna start off with. Let's start off with the date. I'm just gonna import that right now. It's a bit teeny tiny. 
So if I hold down on it, select resize, I can now make it show, make sure that it fits at the top. So obviously, if you have an excess four, it'll probably not fit too well, which is why it comes with that added wallpaper. So tap away, as you can see, that looks pretty awesome. Next up, we're gonna add in another new CCW skin. Pretty easy to do. I'm just gonna show you one more time. Let's add, say, a bigger one, and we can go use it once again. Let's just say add in the locker one. So we're just gonna add that one in which is pretty small. So we're just gonna hold down on it, select resize. As you can see, it's not easy to see the white. Probably not a good idea to put it in the white because these resize buttons are in white. So yeah, it takes a little bit of trial and error, but there it is. So I'm just gonna add in two more, which will be the user icon here and then your notifications over here. Great, so now all the UCCW skins have now been added. As you can see, it comes with your top bar, your user image, your notifications, and then finally the lock area at the bottom. Now the first thing I guess you'll want to be changing is this user image as it currently contains myself as well as my ex-girlfriend. So in order to change that you just want to select this UCCW skin and it brings up your editor right now. Next up you want to jump into edit objects and from here you want to scroll down a bit to the bottom and select image 1. Now you're going to scroll down a bit more and now select image. So it's always recommended to get a circular image as pretty much then it will fit all nice and it looks a lot better. So if you're not too sure how to get a circular image, you might want to look for an app called uh, Photo Editor. It's free off the Google Play Store. I'll provide a link in the description below. And it pretty much comes with the option to crop your image in a circular fashion. So all you want to do now is to scroll a bit, find the image that you want. I think that one looks pretty good. You can actually just change the position if you want a bit. And yeah, so that's my Incredibox little guy right there. And we're just going to select back, back again, and go out of the UCCW editor and it looks a whole lot better depending on how you want it. So the next UCCW change that you want to make is your Gmail just so that it shows your Gmail account. From here you want to go back into the obviously the UCCW editor for the skin. You want to select edit objects and next up you want to scroll down a bit more and select Gmail 1. Next up you want to scroll down a bit more now and let's look for the one titled account. Now from here you're going to select your preferred email account and once that's done, you're always welcome to change the label, say if you don't want it to show the inbox. So once that's done, we're just going to go back out of everything. Let's just see how that looks. So it's looking a whole lot better. But now there might be a few things that you want to change, such as if you want to tap on an area and it's going to open up a preferred app. For example, you've got the little settings there at the top there. So I'm just going to show you a quick way of adding in your hotspots for UCCW. I know it's been a while for you guys. So I'm just going to select this UCCW skin at the top here. You can see it brings it up. I'm going to go into my edit objects this time, select my hotspots. Now the author, I don't think has provided any hotspots for any of the skins, so that doesn't matter. It's still very easy to add. I'm just going to select hotspot one. If I move my finger or my stylus around, I can now see that it's now appeared. So I'm just going to make it take up that little settings icon. I'm going to change the height and width now. So if I change the height, I can make it look like that. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm not going to go too much in detail as this is just a rough way or quick way of just showing you guys on how to open up a specific app when tapping a specific area. So I'm just going to select hotspot right now. I'm going to select app. You're always welcome to choose say a shortcut but I'm just going to go for my settings app I guess you could call it. So I'm just going to scroll down. There is settings. I'm going to select it now. Now you are welcome to do this to each one of the various UCCW skins that you've added. I'm just doing this once off just to show you guys how this works. Now you need to go into your settings either at the top or at the bottom menu button if you have one. You need to select lock widgets, select on, and now it's locked all the widgets within this area. So just keep that in mind. It's going to lock every single one. Yeah, so you might want to do all your edits first before you select lock widgets. So that's pretty much that done. All we need to do now is to add in that custom slider at the bottom. And the reason why I've left it till last because it always gives errors for some reason. People might say that they've installed it and it doesn't show. So I'm going to show you my way of doing that. I'm just going to bring up or go out of my app. I'm going to go into my ES File Explorer. Where is it? There it is right there. I'm going to look for my that folder that I've copied on to my phone. And here it is. It comes with the line.wltheme.zip. Now obviously you must have Widget Locker installed because now when you select it, it'll show you what you want to open this file with. Now if you select Widget Locker, it comes with three options here. And the one that you want to look for is the one called Install and Add that's going to pretty much add it straight onto your lock screen. So all you have to do now is to select done and now it's been added and you can always welcome to say install but then for some reason it doesn't like to show itself. I have no idea why but I'm just going to resize this now and get it into the bottom. 
So I think that looks pretty good. You can even make it a bit smaller because I know a little line appears at the top. And if I tap away, that is it done. You can swipe this out like that. Remember, if it's some, for some reason it goes behind this UCCW skin, you can always just hold down on a widget and select send to back. So always just keep that in mind. And we can swipe out now. Let's just see, bam, like that. And if we lock our screen, let's just see what it looks like. And I'm gonna unlock it now. And bam, there it is. And we can always just test it out. It's got all of our information there. Got our timeout date, our notifications. And of course, this awesome looking slider here. Sliding like that unlocks your phone. How cool is that? So thank you very much guys for watching this very simple tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up as well as a please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out our various social communities as we are on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, and even Instagram. And last but not least, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema Beta, as you can see before you here. It's literally just one click. You can go into browse themes, find a theme that you enjoy, say whichever one that you would want you just need to click apply and that's it it's just one click it does everything for you and it takes literally a matter of seconds in order to set up a great looking home screen that has everything that you need in order to go by your day so thank you very much guys for watching this video marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing